everyone! Welcome to Smart Saplings! Come join us for today's fun fact! Hey there, curious kids! Get ready to travel way, way back in time to meet a super-duper long dinosaur! This is the Diplodocus, and it's one of the longest land animals ever! The name Diplodocus is a big word, but it just means double beam! <laughs> That's because of the special bones under its tail that look like two beams stuck together! <laughs> Can you imagine how long a Diplodocus was? It was as long as three school buses lined up in a row! That's a whole lot of dinosaur! Its super long neck was like a giant flexible straw! It used that neck to reach up and munch on the tastiest leaves at the very tippy top of tall trees! But what about its tail? It was so long and thin at the end, it was like a giant whip! It could crack its tail to make a super loud noise to scare away bad guys! Whoosh! Diplodocus was a gentle plant eater called a herbivore. It loved to eat ferns, bushes, and all kinds of green plants! No meat for this guy! The Diplodocus lived a long, long, long time ago, during a period called the Jurassic. That was over 150 million years ago, in what is now North America. Wow! <laughs> Look at its teeth! They were like little pegs, perfect for stripping leaves off of branches. It didn't even chew its food much. It just swallowed it whole. With a body so big, the Diplodocus had to walk carefully. It had four strong legs that moved in a slow, steady way like a big walking mountain. Thump, thump, that tail wasn't just for scaring, it could also be used to make a loud whack sound to tell other Diplodocuses where it was or to signal to them. Even though it was so big, the Diplodocus was a peaceful and gentle dinosaur. It mostly just hung out with its friends and looked for the next tasty snack. Did you know the Diplodocus had its nose way up on its head? That's different from us. Some scientists think it helped them breathe while eating tall plants. Diplodocuses didn't like to be alone. They traveled in big groups called herds, which helped keep them safe and let them find food together. Teamwork! A baby Diplodocus was probably about the size of a little goat. <laughs> they grew so fast to become the giants we know. To pump blood all the way up that long neck, the Diplodocus needed a super strong heart. It was probably the size of a small car. There wasn't just one kind of Diplodocus. Scientists have found a few different types, all with their own little differences in their bones. They were all part of the same big family. Some plant eaters swallowed small stones called gastroliths. The stones would help grind up the plants in their bellies, since they didn't chew much. The Diplodocus lived with other famous dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Allosaurus. They all shared the same big, beautiful, prehistoric world! Phew! What a journey! We learned that Diplodocus means double beam. It was as long as three buses, had a super long neck, and a whippy tail. So many amazing facts! Thanks for learning with us, little explorers! <laughs> Keep being curious and keep exploring the amazing world of dinosaurs! Bye-bye for now! Hmm. Thanks for watching, friends! What should we learn next? Tell us! And don't forget to hit subscribe! <laughs>